after months of anticipation, GameStop finally released their NFT marketplace this week and generated over $1 million in sales in the first month. In contrast, the Coinbase NFT marketplace, another NFT platform also released this year, did just under $1 million in sales in one month. Luckily for you, Nugget lover, we've prepared everything you need to know about GameStop NFT sales that crushed the Coinbase NFT sales. Remember that while the first step is completing any of these amazing courses, the second and possibly more important step is taking action even if it's an imperfect action. GameStop revealed their new blockchain-based trading platform on Monday, July 11. GameStop has seen better-than-expected numbers since launching its new non-fungible token marketplace. The system will allow gamers, creators, and collectors to buy, sell, and trade digital assets stored on the Ethereum network. Basically, it leads to the full ownership of these assets when they are saved on a blockchain. GameStop's experiment developing their own NFT marketplace has gotten off to a surprisingly good start. Since its NFT marketplace launched on Monday, over $3.5 million has been spent by players on the platform's top 50 NFT collections. With a royalty rate of 2.25% per sale, GameStop's marketplace generated about $67,500 in revenue for the company. This isn't revolutionary, but it is more than many may expect. The new GameStop marketplace for trading in-game assets occurred during crypto winter, which has seen interest in NFT fall alongside the tanking value of Bitcoin and Ether. Ether, with which most NFTs are purchased, is down nearly 70% since the new year dawned. Many of GameStop's customers categorically reject NFTs, with attempts by Ubisoft and Square Enix to integrate crypto and NFTs into games being spurned by gamers en masse. GameStop, the video game retailer, is trying to compete with OpenSea, which is the biggest marketplace for non-fungible tokens. As of June this year, according to Daily Dune, $17 billion has been spent on NFTs on the OpenSea marketplace, with holding 2.5% of every token sold throughout their platform would result in revenues of about $425 million in the last seven months. After struggling with launching its own online exchange, popular cryptocurrency brokerage and trading platform Coinbase finally launched its NFT marketplace. The launch took longer than expected, but the launch is beginning to pay off for those investing in the tokens and coins available on the platform. The most expensive piece on NFTs on the platform so far is Metaboy, which features pixel art inspired by Game Boy games. A total of $1 million has been spent thus far on that particular collection on NFTs alone. GameStop is reconsidering its game show strategy, given the changes in technology and digital play. As the years progress, the customer base becomes more disrupted with GameStop currently hoping to capitalize on this trend and generate higher revenue in the NFT market, which has seen annual growth rates of around 20% over the past few years. In addition, GameStop recently introduced its own crypto wallet. Digital assets backed by blockchain technology are associated with cryptocurrencies. Proponents claim this is just the start of a cryptocurrency monetary revolution that will change the way people interact on the internet forever. Critics say that this currency will collapse and drop in value, like how all other cryptocurrencies eventually do, and it to surpass traditional financial institutions. GameStop launched its NFT platform amid turbulent market conditions. Almost all digital assets and coins are suffering from this turbulence, prompting several clients of ours to reject NFT coins. Square Enix and Prince of Persia publisher Ubisoft wanted to blend in the concept of NFT coins and cryptocurrencies into their games, but these attempts failed. OpenSea experienced a sudden drop in NFT sales from $2.5 billion in May to around $696 million in June, which has brought in a different word for crypto recession. The value of Ether has been falling drastically recently, and because of this, the game marketplace OpenSea is still largely active. 
Nevertheless, GameStop has not found its way into the market yet. But the recent influx of novelty digital assets have been slowing down the market activity substantially. In order to build and design the platform, GameStop partnered with the Ethereum blockchain and have released a beta version of their ETH wallet. The wallet enables users to store, send, and get both crypto and NFTs which is also self-custodial, meaning that customers are able to enter their assets by themselves. The platform GameStop is currently allowing users to purchase items on the Ethereum blockchain without being blocked by any other blockchain. As of now, GameStop's primary focus is taking care of their existing user base. With numerous blockbuster collections, an increase in popularity for the platform will ensure its everlasting adaptation throughout generations. GameStop's exchange for NFTs is Ethereum-based, so it does not offer cards like those of the Solana blockchain, and it currently only offers artwork. GameStop seems to be banking on its customer base to dabble into NFT trading, as the marketplace currently doesn't offer highly valued collections like Board Ape Yacht Club, Doodles, or Cool Cats. Collections are popular among NFT traders, but unaffordable to most people. Eventually, the new marketplace will encompass Web3 Gaming, which refers to the games that utilize NFTs and cryptocurrencies. To encourage this trend, GameStop has struck up a partnership with Immutable, a company that specializes in blockchain gaming. The two have offered a $100 million grant to Web3 developers that join their platform. As reported by blockchain analyst NFT Herder, GameStop's current sales volume is $1,887,360. They have earned just $42,000 in transaction fees since this spike began because their market fee is very low. Even though they are not making much in the crypto market right now, it is significant considering that the present market crash began with a drop. Due to the slow uptake of NFTs on Coinbase Dapp Store, the initial public release of the platform in May was a success only for 150 users subjecting a sum of $75,000 worth of ETH. But GameStop's NFT marketplace has had more success than it did as OpenSea and LooksRare experienced more losses. How will the prospects for GameStop's turn be in the future, considering the fact that these giants like OpenSea and LooksRare are better offerings? The time is right for GameStop. Last week, the company fired its chief financial officer as it began more layoffs within the organization. Change will be constant as we evolve our commerce business and launch new projects through our blockchain group, said CEO Matthew Furlong in an email to staff, according to Kotaku. In the company's most recent quarterly financial report, at the end of April, it revealed net losses of $157 million. That's it for this video, Nugget Lover. Remember to subscribe to our channel. And if you feel like we've delivered value, please share this video with one person. That's right, just one person. As a token of your appreciation for the hard work we put into making content that educates and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. Remember, you can watch video after video, but it isn't until you take action that you'll start to see results. See you on the next one.